Well, hi and welcome to Winter Wetlands. I have a massive story to tell you, and I'm not quite sure where to start. Well, I guess we'll go straight to the start. But yesterday, I was thinking that I might go somewhere on an adventure for today, because my wife's going away with her sisters. I thought, yeah, let's just have a bit of fun somewhere. I didn't want to drive too far. Anyway, I looked on the weather bomb, and it was going to be absolutely crap, pouring down with rain. I thought, well, can't really do anything, can I? No? What's the weather like up at Benalla at Winton Wetlands? And to my surprise, <laughs> we've got this for two days. So I, this is four o'clock yesterday afternoon, I think. I'm going. It's the most random thing I've done for a long, long time. I just filled my car up with everything that I needed. Camping up here, I, I think I've brought way too much food, but I just chucked everything in the car and flew up here this, this morning. Got here about uh, half past nine, came into the back of the, re the reserve, and all of a sudden I'm getting held up getting to the campsite by raptors. Just seeing tons of them flying around. So I just kept stopping the car, taking photographs. So this happened for quite some time and eventually they let me go. I come into the, the uh, campsite, set myself up, walk up to the top of the hill where the yellow-footed antichinus are, plonk myself down here, just setting the camera up ready for action. When I noticed in the background, there's a tree with a hollow in it that when I was up here last time, I was putting leaves in there to see whether the yellow-footed antichinus weren't nesting in there. And during the couple of days I was here, the leaves kept being pulled out, but I never found out what or who the culprit was pulling those leaves out. But I know now because I've been watching the sacred kingfisher going in to that hollow and feeding their chicks. So I plunk myself in a good position to try and get them flying up to the nest. So trying to get them in flight, in, up to the nest and out of the nest. I was having a ball and I ended up wearing myself out a little bit. And I thought, oh, now come back and sit here. I've got to find out uh, whether Haley, the yellow-footed antichinus female that I've been watching the last few times I've come here, is she still in that same nesting site that's just in front of me? Well, there is another site, uh, nesting site, the original one I saw her building. She was taking leaves in there. Uh, it's only about three metres away from the, the nest that I saw her in last time. Uh, and I gazed my eyes up to the top. I was massively shocked. The yellow-footed antichinus juveniles are out of the nest. They haven't been out very long because they didn't come down the tree. They are climbing up and then going back in like they're doing right now. It just shocked me. This is just a random visit. I would have missed out on them coming out of the nest. I had booked myself in to come in four weeks' time. That's when Generally, the agile antichinus that I've been studying for 11 years, that's when they come out of their nests. And every time I've come up here, I've timed it to what the agile was doing at those same times. And it's been working out really well. I saw them carrying their joeys, saw them building nests, all those sort of things. It's all worked out. So I would have been four weeks out. I wouldn't have seen them. So, so lucky. They say you make your own luck by constantly going to a place, being there. But this is way beyond that. This is just, it's meant to be. It's just meant to have happened from a random act on my part. I get to see him. <laughs> Fate. I think that's the word. It was just fate.
As the sun sets on another successful day, I share the campfire with some other wildlife photographers who are intrigued and captivated by my stories of the yellow-footed antichinus. There's plenty of yellow-footed antichinus out around here. And there's also some up the hill. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, Does he ever stop talking about that bloody mouse? Oh, good morning. And it certainly is. Just some puffy little whispery clouds around, but they'll soon disappear, I'm sure. But the sun is just hitting the nesting site here. And I'm looking forward to an awesome day of filming and photographing these now juvenile yellow-footed antichinus. Now, last night, or yesterday afternoon, I continued to watch them Got some reasonable photographs, uh, but today we're looking to improve that and get some really amazing shots, plus a lot more footage and a lot more knowledge. That's the main aim as well, always trying to learn more about uh, these guys. They're, they're already out around on the ground. I've been uh, trying to get some photographs on, but they've been a little bit elusive at the minute, a bit shy. Anyway, I'm going to uh, again sit back, relax, enjoy the moment of being here. got to talk quickly because behind me you'll be able to see the yellow-footed antichinus juveniles climbing down the tree. So I've had an amazing day. A little bit 
drawing my energy and moisture because the humidity has been a little bit hard to take today. It's the first for the year, so it's, yeah, pulled me down a lot. <laughs> but this morning, absolutely enjoyed watching these guys come down the tree and spread out wide and far, searching for insects under the logs and grasses. It's just been amazing to photograph and film. I've got some really good stuff. Can't wait to get home and have a look at it on uh, the computer. But yes, I had uh, that big session this morning. I saw them all go back into the hollow, or most of them anyway. And so I went off and had my lunch, came back and sat here from two o'clock till five o'clock, nothing. I actually thought they may have vacated and gone to other nesting sites because that's what they do. Uh, Antichinus take up communal nesting sites with their own gender. Uh, they don't always stay in the home nest. The females, it's quite a usual thing for them to do is to stay in the communal nest, in their home nest and other females will come and join them. But yeah, that does work vice versa as well. Like for here, they may go. Uh, males will go off to their own nesting site. They'll go to their forefathers. So they're quite a strong scent. Mm, bugs, mo butterflies, all <laughs> distracting me, sorry. Uh, yeah, they'll pick up that scent of their forefathers and uh, go to those nesting sites. Uh, usually within three days, I find the males just leave very quickly. Uh, now, their mother, Haley is still here. Spotted her yesterday, just down there. And again, this morning, I saw her as well. So she will hang around and check up on them every now and then. But once the joeys start sticking their head out of the entrance of the nesting site, that gives mum the key to abandon them. She decides that they're ready to look after themselves. So she'll take no further part in their lives. So that's exactly what has happened. But they will check up on them, that is for sure. And I'm sure that's why she hasn't shifted too far away from them. Just drop in every now and then and check up on them. But I haven't witnessed that yet. But uh, I have had an absolute ball with this random visit. Man, if I didn't do it, I wouldn't have learnt again <laughs> learnt something new. They come out a lot earlier than I thought they would. So that's something to write down in the diary and uh, document. So I think it's time for me to shut up, finish up this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have had bringing it to you and doing all this photographing and filming. It's been amazing. Got some awesome stuff, awesome trip. And I need to go and sit down. So let's finish up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing stuff, click on my pretty little face just down there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Hit the little bell, you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you like this video, man, it'd be awesome if you'd give me the thumbs up. I don't seem to be able to get past 20. I don't know why. Within the first uh, 48 hours, yeah, don't seem to be doing too well in that department. But people keep watching my stuff. So if you can give me that thumbs up, that'd be awesome. And if you want to go and have a look at all the other mad and crazy things I've been doing in the past, click on my icon right here at the end of this video. Take it to my channel. I talk about photographing and filming wildlife in the forest and open forest environments. And when I go on holidays and uh, adventures, I always take you with me. And when I... Uh, buy cameras and camera equipment I always give you my honest opinion on them which is what I'm going to do very very soon I have finished up with all my testing of my new camera which is filming me right now the Canon R5C amazing camera but more of that in the future so yes go and have a browse I'm sure there'll be something of interest to you there now just remember if you don't do you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.